So, how to buy item on the shop? Will there be a video? Can how you to make a video? How to add the work? Will there be a video? Okay, okay. I hear you guys. I checked my comments. Sometimes. Um. But yeah, before we get started into the video, just want to say that only 2.7% of 100% people are actually subscribed. So, please subscribe, I guess. Yeah, anyways, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a actually working shop. So you may or may not have seen this video on how to press E and open a shop, but that shop does not actually work. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the shop actually work. So make sure that you have Explore and Properties open there under the View tab. And then over in the start GUI, just click the plus and enter in a screen GUI. So after that, uh, after you got your screen GUI, click the plus and enter in a frame. So this is going to be our actual shop. So just rename the frame into shop. After that, you can go into the properties, go to anchor point and write 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. And then just recenter it. After that, you can go down into the size and then change it however big you want it. So I'm going to make mine 700 wide and 400 tall. So now it should look something like this. And I'm just going to change the background color to uh, a little bit of cyan color. So after that, you can start customizing your shop. So I'm going to add in a text label and I'm going to call it the title. After that, I'm going to drag the text label over the whole thing, go into properties, and then make sure that background transparency is 1. After that, you can scroll down until you find text, and I'm just going to write a shop. And then make sure that text is scaled, and then uh, it's bold. And then last thing I'm going to do is make it white. So now it should look like this. So next thing we need is our uh, button. So click the plus and then go until you find image button. So we're going to be using a picture instead of uh, a box because pictures are more cool. So I'm going to put it right there. And then the next thing we need to do is make the actual picture. But make sure that you have something that you want to buy in mind first. So as you can see, I want you to be able to buy a key card. So I'm going to insert a key card right here. So this is the thing we're going to be buying from the shop. And we need to make a picture for the shop. So I'm going to quickly make a quick background like that. And then we can go into the properties of this item. And then let's make the background uh, a dark blue. Actually, let's make it really light blue. And then we can drag the key card right on top of the background. And then make sure that you get a good camera angle. So I'm going to put mine just like that. And then take a screenshot. So after you took in the screenshot, make sure that you clip the image in a square-like shape. So this is somewhat of a square. And save the picture as whatever your item is. So my item is a key card and then key card picture. After that, click save and now you got your uh, picture. So after that, you can delete the background, but put the key card or your item into replicated storage. After that, you can turn back on the UI and then click on the image button which we are going to rename into key card and then go into the properties and scroll down until you find image after that click on this so click on it this is what you should see and then since I tried this before I have a picture of the key card but you won't have it so what you're going to do is click add image and click choose file and then find your file of the key card in my case, that would be key card picture. After that, just click open and then name key card picture and then create. So give it a few seconds and then 
there now it's on your shop so now that we have a picture of the key card uh, on the button the last thing we need to do is just um, put like a caption under it so add a text label right under it just like that and then we can call it key card text and then go into the properties and then you can make the background transparency to one and scroll to text and then write key card or whatever your item is text scaled color white and then I'm gonna make it bold so now this is what it looks like so you can click this and then this is just text so the next thing we're gonna do is go into the key card so the button click the plus and enter in a local script and now you can write what I write so local player equals to game dot players dot local player and then go down line and write local key card equals to game dot replicated storage dot key card because that's where we put our key card in and then go down line and then write local backpack equals to player dot backpack just like that after that go down two lines and write script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and go down the line and write key card colon clone and go down the line and write key card dot parent equals to backpack so that should be the whole script for the actual key card and the next thing we're going to do is go back into the shop click the plus and enter in a button so the button we're going to name it exit this is going to be our exit button and then we're just going to place it there for now so I'm just going to make it like that and that's just going to be there for now so the other thing we need to do is go into the screen GUI not the shop the GUI click the plus and enter in another button so this button I'm going to put all the way down here just like this and then we're going to name this open shop so this button is going to open the actual shop. So what you want to do is click on it, go into the properties, customize it however you want. So I'm going to turn mine into blue. So I'm going to go into text and call this shop. And text scaled, text white, and text bold. So now that we got our two buttons, so we're going to go into the open shop and then click the click the plus enter in a local script and just write local shop equals to script dot parent dot parent dot shop and then local button equals to script dot parent and then go down two lines and write button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then write shop shop dot visible equals to true and then button dot visible equals to false and then we're gonna go into the other button that is exit we're gonna go into the properties and then we're gonna make it a big X and then we're gonna make the text white and we're gonna make it bold and then we're gonna go up into the background transparency and make it red and then we're also just going to make the text scale so the X button should now look like this and then click the plus and enter in a local script now I can write what I write so local shop button equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot open shop and then local shop so this is the actual shop equals to script dot parent dot parent and that's it because it goes two parents up after that you can go two lines down and then write script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then go down the line and then just write shop button dot visible equals to true and then write shop shop dot visible 
equals to false. So the last thing, the very last thing we need to do is go back into the shot frame and then just go into the properties and then make it not visible. So this should be the whole script and we can go test it out. So I just load in and you can see if we press the shop button, the button goes away and the shop appears and then if we press X, it reappears so you can do this infinite times. And then over here, the key card, if we press it, we get a key card, just like this. So now we have a key card and if we try to buy it again, it won't let us. So yeah, we just have a key card now and that is how to make a working shop in Roblox Studio. Now, if you want to see how you can make this work with money, or you want to see how to add more things uh, in the shop, make sure to go check out the extras channel. There's a video about that. Or, or you can just wait when this video ends and there will be a card that will take you right to the video. Anyways, bye. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed or found this tutorial helpful. Like I said, if you want to see how you can make it work with money or how to add more things into the shop, check out the extras channel. There should be a card on the screen right now. Uh, yeah, but anyways, bye.